Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Dancing around, dancing around, dancing around. Look at the children dancing around. Okay friends, I've got organic tortilla chips, cashew sour cream, olives, organic refried black beans with no oil in them, I guess, which helps the violet cheddar shreds, which are really great in the oven. My woohoo avocado pesto that I just made with Caden. That stuff really packs a punch. I think the longer it sits in a jar the more the flavors are going to meld together right now it is really intense <laughs> but i think it'll be great spread out on these um tortilla chips and this is going to be interesting interesting take on um nachos from kind of a british pesto perspective all right i'll be right back okay dokey this is the refried beans, which the only ingredients they have in them are uh, beans, sea salt, I don't know if you can see that clearly, organic black beans, water, and sea salt, and the only ingredients the olives had in them was water, olives, and sea salt. That's my kind of food, people. I like that they didn't add a lot of stuff, all right? And it wasn't that expensive because it was the Whole Foods store brand. All right, already, just from sitting in my nice, beautiful jar, the avocado pesto has gained a little bit more cohesiveness in the flavors. They've kind of congealed a little bit. I know because when I spread it out and then I licked the spoon, it was much easier to tolerate because that, even just with three cloves of raw garlic, it was super, super powerful. Okay, so I'm going to do one layer at a time. Let's do five minutes in our super hot toaster oven and that should be awesome. Actually, since we've got the beans in there, Let's go ahead and do seven minutes. So here is the lovely nachos. And the last thing I'm going to do is just sprinkle a tiny bit of taco seasoning, which is not too spicy. I had it in a dish and it didn't set me off too much. So here we go, just a little bit of taco. Are you coming out? What's up? Yeah, let's do it that way. For some color, because it's very black and green and yellow and... Hmm, isn't there a flag that has those colors? Black and green and, and yellow and white. I can think of a few of them. Anyways, so now I'm going to try these. Alright, let's grab a chip with the fresh cilantro, my cashew sour cream, my refried beans instead of salsa, and my olives instead of jalapeno chilies, my avocado pesto with flax oil. Let's see how this anti-inflammatory nacho attempt goes. Hmm. I think I'm gonna squeeze some lime over the top and then that's going to make it really super delicious and a little bit more of the taco seasoning but pretty darn good for an autoimmune vegan gluten-free everything else now i'm going to try and give some to terry so this is uh tortilla chips refried beans some olives the avocado pesto that kaden and i made some cashew sour cream okay. and veggie cheese and some a little bit of taco seasoning so it's not too hot should be good go ahead it's tasty yay thank it's you different. daddy Success. We're at 
at the Queen Katie, Zoo. You have to put your hand like so this. excited to be here. Kaden, please put your mask on, honey. Put your mask on, son. Yeah. And Kaden's about to feed the duckies. Come here, Phoenix. And then you can see the ducks are like, yes, bring it on. Put it in the bag. Very nice. Yeah, he's Here, Phoenix. Yeah. I'm so excited. Hey, Rob. Here, Phoenix. Phoenix. Nice. So we're at the Queen Zoo, which is exciting that they're open now. Kaden is eating PB and J, and we have a lunch guest. I don't know if you can see that bison. It's pretty awesome. And there are seals over there. And there are sea lions over there. Phoenix, do you like the animals? Oh, I can see the animals. Yeah. So I have the avocado pesto that I made with my vegan cheese and gluten-free sourdough bread. I went ahead and toasted it. Yeah, exactly. The bread is delicious. I toasted it before I left him because it's sourdough. It should digest nicely. I just wanted to show, it, it looked better open face, no! but I wrapped it up. It. No, now it's gonna no, be just like a yummy it. grilled cheese with avocado it. pesto. It was super delicious. And then yes, I put the no, avocado pesto. No, no, I don't want it. Okay, you don't want it. No problem. You want it? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna put it in the sacrifice bowl. I have a bowl off to the side that hopefully the ants will go to before they go to um, my food. Anyways, um, so I used the avocado pesto. Oh my goodness. I used the avocado pesto in a salad dressing as well. I put olive oil and apple cider vinegar and the avocado pesto, and that is super amazing flavor pack. So I don't need a, a whole ton of spices in there, and I have some vegan cheese, shiitake, and baby bella mushrooms with my romaine. Okay, um, motherhood duty is uh, calling, but, oh, there she goes. Happy girl, likes her chips. All right, so I'm trying the third way with the avocado pesto. 
which is to have it with pasta. Mine pasta is gluten free and I'm going to cut up some yellow squash to go in there. I just started the water boiling. My family is having um, leftovers from various meals and I'm going to enjoy my avocado pasto that, uh, pesto that I made yesterday. We'll see what it looks like. All right, so I've got my really big bowl. I'm not gonna eat this all today, but I have um, gluten-free cauliflower and fava bean and white rice pasta with yellow squash and shiitake mushrooms. And I'm about to put in some avocado pesto and stir it up, be right back. All right, I have two whopping spoonfuls of the avocado pesto in there, and now I'm about to stir in a third. It is looking and smelling super delicious. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, and I'm probably going to freeze the rest of the avocado pesto until next week. I have a every other week low methionine and high methionine week in my eating. So during the high methionine weeks, I can have garlic and noodles and all kinds of things that I cannot have that have high methionine in them like beans and rice and nuts and seeds. Um, so on my low methionine weeks, I'm basically grain, legume, and nut seed free. And it's a nice rest for my body and if you're interested in why I am doing that or even bothering with that, uh, you can shoot me an email and I'll let you in on my health journey. Um, so anyways, so you've got your standard leftover gluten-free pasta with some beef and some green beans and some tomato sauce. And you've got this lovely summer looking mix of pasta and this avocado pesto, oh my gosh. So right now I'm gonna have a bite so that you guys can experience it with me. This is the actually fourth way that I'm having this avocado pesto. I'll, I'll try another way <laughs> in, another, um, in another meal. I think with sweet potato would be amazing. Okay, hold on. Hmm. 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 So, it does need a little bit more salt, actually. But the avocado pesto, it doesn't come off, when you stir it into things, it doesn't come off as overpowering as it was when I first made it, or if I were to just take a spoonful now and, and eat a chunk of it. Um, but it does have um, kale and walnuts and and all kinds of uh, garlic and adobo powder, really delicious spices. So all this really needs is just a little bit more um, salt. <gasps> we have a visitor. Hello, visitor. Are you ready for your dinner? Dopolis. Dopolis. Okay, let's get you some dinner. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> oh dear, this is a problem. Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around Dancing around, dancing around, dancing around Look at the children dancing around 